How's it going, my lovely thrivers? I really am excited for this video. I am so excited to share what one year of YouTube has meant to me, what, it, uh, what it's done to me, how it all started, and where I wanna go in the future, all right? So first, let's just talk about how this all begun, all right? So I had had a mountain bike accident, dislocated my shoulder, figured out that I had to get surgery. I was doing Spartan races and kept missing my obstacles because it would continuously slip out or dislocate. Did not have the stability I needed. So I had to get shoulder surgery. That was in June of 2022. And within a couple weeks, I had absolutely lost my mind because I am so used to running, being active, and having the shoulder surgery completely messed all of that up. All right, so what I did is I started to look at how to stay as active as I possibly could without, I couldn't run because the jostling was going to uh, destroy my surgery. So I had to do small active things. So I went on to YouTube and I was doing at home exercises. Uh, I was actually watching Growing Ananas and doing her workouts. She's an absolute, an incredible coach. Um, I was doing a lot of lower body and all of her planks. Believe me, I was doing it with just one arm, all the push-ups and stuff. I was doing my best to modify, to get what I wanted out of that health journey without being able to use my left shoulder at all. In addition to that, I was watching running related videos like Seth James Damore, and they really were inspiring me to be a better runner, um, just the running community. And so I decided, you know, after a couple weeks of shoulder surgery and getting help from others, my honest opinion was, well, if they're doing it, you know, couldn't I do this? They are probably making good money on YouTube. And so I decided, you know what? I've got big plans and let, let's start a YouTube channel. I want to build a legacy for myself. Um, I know that sounds very prideful, and it is, but I want to build a legacy of helping people accomplish health goals that they maybe needed just somebody else to give them that little bit of motivation or the ump or the energy or whatever it took to inspire other people to become healthy. That is a passion of mine. And that was what I decided, you know what? That's the legacy I want to leave behind. When I'm dead, I want people to remember me for that. And I thought that's the best way to build a legacy is start a YouTube channel and help others. Came up with the name Woods Thriving. My last name is Wood and um, really want to thrive in life. I want to help others thrive. So that's the name and that's why I chose it. And here's the reality is I know or I knew absolutely zero when it came to video editing, what was good, what was bad, um, even how to do any sort of uh, Photoshop or thumbnails. I didn't know any of that. So I just started diving into even how to create a YouTube channel, what type of software should I use, what would I need. I just went and bought a GoPro Hero 11 and uh, my first two videos, first one was wearing a GoPro on my forehead and doing a trail run and bringing you along with me and assuming that people would just <clears throat> gravitate towards that. Ooh, you know, I can watch that on my treadmill. Um, no, it didn't happen. Also, my computer could barely handle Camtasia, the software I use. So I've spent quite a bit of money to get this up and going because I had to buy a new desktop, new monitor, um, all sorts of stuff to even start the process. Um, uh, yeah, and I found that the GoPro it is good, but I needed something that was a little bit better as far as the sound, the video quality. So I went and bought, it's a Canon EOS 90D, and that's what I'm recording with right now. So there was a lot of investments and there was a lot of learning. Um, 
If you were to ask my wife, you, she could attest to how frustrating it was for somebody who knew nothing about it to having to learn really quick and compete against people who've been doing this for years. Um, speaking of that, also it is a challenge. If you are thinking about starting something up, I'm just gonna put a side note. It is a big challenge and it is hard when you're somebody who does this you know, a few hours a day and then on the weekend to compete against people who <laughs> this is their full-time job. So if you're looking to get into this, just realize who you're competing against and uh, if you're competing against people who are doing it full-time and you're not, you're gonna grow slower. That's just the reality, unless you've got natural abilities, which I do not, when it comes to being good at editing, making people's attention stay longer. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people probably already clicked off of this because I don't know how to do that very well. So, anyway, that's why this all started. And I wanna go through three things. The first thing is, how much does this help me? What's thriving, the, our channel? How much has helped me because of accountability? I, I've always been a, I would say a decent runner and I've always been decent at exercising and uh, Spartan races and relay races. But this added, I would say probably 5X, the accountability that I hold on myself because I don't want to let you all down. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but the type of person I am, I have very ambitious goals, and so I will put out an ambitious goal. For example, right now, I'm training hard for a, a 2.45 marathon. Um, before the channel, my fastest was a 3.25, all right? I just did a 2.50, so I know 2.45 is doable, but it is going to be a challenge. And then on the half marathon side, my fastest was like a 127, and because of you all, and you all holding me accountable without probably even knowing it, I've dropped down to an hour and 14 minutes on my half marathon time. It's easier when I throw out a goal and I don't wanna let people down, um, and I've got people like you cheering me on. You don't know how much it means when you're like, hey, you got this, I believe in you. Um, it inspires me, and also it holds me accountable to make sure I do what I say I'm gonna do. So. That's the first thing is the accountability of saying you're gonna do something into the camera and having people who uh, care about whether you accomplish it or not. Um, second thing is the fact that it has been an honor to make friends with a lot of you. Uh, I know I've never met probably any of you, however, I consider a lot of you very close friends. I think there's something when People are suffering together and going after their best version of themselves. It really connects us, all right? Even though we never met, I think we have a great bond because we are suffering and going after our, our best version, all right? So it really has been amazing to see so many comments back and forth, you helping me out, hopefully me helping you out and creating friendships with our channel. I would say that has probably been the best thing for me. Uh, believe me, and I'm not just saying this, I would not have been able to accomplish one year of sacrifice to make this happen in order, if I didn't have you consistently commenting and bringing positivity to me and our channel, I promise you, it, it would not have survived. So thank you, please keep it up. Uh, I, hope, I, hope, uh, I hope it's good for you as well. Know that it really means so much to me, so. Okay, and then the third thing is how much I've grown as just a person because of the challenges I put myself through in order to accomplish our channel, all right? And what I mean by that is Learning new skills really humbles you, but it also makes you realize that, hey, you know what, if I can accomplish this, there's probably a lot of other things I can accomplish. And it gives you a little bit more confidence in life. Um, and uh, it makes you appreciate so much more. 
So really know that uh, the fact that this has been a massive challenge for me, it has also been an absolute blessing in my life. So uh, I appreciate the challenge. I am a very competitive person, especially with myself. And so whenever I am not doing as well as I was hoping, it kind of motivates, motivates me even more. So anyway, so that's really the good parts of YouTube. The hard parts of YouTube is the fact that, and I'm going to go through, I've got my laptop right here, I'm going to go through more of the nitty gritty parts of YouTube as far as the analytics, kind of how it works, but uh, the challenging part is you cannot become monetized, which monetized in YouTube terms means you can't make any money until you fulfill two things. One is you have to get 1,000 subscribers, which at the time of me recording, I have 686. So close, but pretty far off because I'm only getting about 15 to 20 new subscribers a month. So at the pace I'm at, it's gonna be over two years of doing this before I accomplish that. The second thing is you have to have 4,000 watch time hours. That I'm doing well at. I think we're at 4,600, 4,700, and it's a rolling 12 months. So in my eyes, people are liking the content, they're watching it, but I'm having a hard time people getting people to subscribe. And I think there's a reason for that, and I may have to make a pivot. Pivot! I will continue on doing what I'm doing, but I need to make a little bit of a pivot to gain more subscribers, all right? Um, so in YouTube, at least in my mind, there are two ways to do YouTube. Either you're a entertainer, and your only purpose is to make people laugh, entertain them, or you are there to help them with something. You're an educator, you're a motivator, you are an inspirer, whatever it may be, a storyteller, whatever it may be, to help someone along with whatever they need. Help somebody accomplish a task that they are trying to accomplish, all right? Um, the YouTube channel we are on right now is, I would say, 100% in that category of helping. We're not doing any sort of entertaining, all right? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My personality is I'm definitely competitive, but at the same time, I like to have fun. So I don't know if I need to bring more of that to the channel. There's got to be something I'm missing where people aren't subscribing. And I'll go through the analytics of what's going on, but I think what I need to do is pivot into more shorter content. Not, not, I would continue doing the workouts. Don't, don't get me wrong, so I don't want you to think we're going to go away from that. However, I may only do two workouts a week and then create a little bit more short content related to health and fitness, but in a way that's a little bit more entertaining. It's going to drive people to the channel, help them subscribe, to subscribe, and then they can join with the workouts. But I've got to do some sort of pivot to get to subscribers, because right now, um, what I'm doing isn't working fast enough. And uh, I hate saying that, and I know that uh, uh, you probably don't, you don't need to know that. There's gonna be pivots. When I first started this, it was gonna be primarily running content, and then secondary was gonna work, be workout videos. However, all of a sudden my workout videos were where everybody wanted to watch and subscribe, and my running related content wasn't really getting any traction, and I probably wasn't doing it right. However, so I leaned in on the exercise as far as workouts at home, I leaned into that, and it uh, worked out for a bit, but it's not quite growing the way I was hoping for. To be honest, my goal when I first started this was to be monetized, have those 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch time hours by one year. Um, I'm nowhere near there on the subscribers. I know it seems like I'm close, but at the trajectory I'm at, it's going to take another year to get there. And I'm not sure I've got the patience to do two years of a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of investment without seeing a dime. So I really do need to uh, change up something. 
Um, also, I, I made a post recently about ads on my channel, and my wife, when she she'll do my workouts, which I really appreciate, she's amazing. Um, but she keeps seeing ads, <clears throat> and until I'm monetized, I have zero control over that. YouTube is putting ads out there; they make all the money, and they can put them wherever they want. They can make them how long they want. They can make them where you can't skip them. They can do whatever they want, and until I become monetized, I have zero control, and I really do want to have control over that because. It's frustrating if you're in the middle of a, a workout set and all of a sudden a ad comes on. And I'm guessing I got probably a number of dislikes on my YouTube channel because of that. Because people don't realize that I have zero control over that. And that's a really big reason why I do want to become monetized um, is to be able to have control over that. So my future goals are to become monetized because I do want to make a little bit of money with this. Um, but at the same time, I would be perfectly fine doing this even with, without making money. I know it would be hard for me, but know that I am so passionate about this channel, about our channel, about commenting back and forth and creating something that I hope, I pray that you guys care about. If I were to stop it, I hope that it would mean something and you guys would feel some sort of void in, in, uh, in your exercise life. Um, I really want to bring a little bit more positivity back to you. I hope I'm bringing some, but I do want to bring more. I want to bring more excitement. I want to bring more energy. I want to bring more uh, drive and attention and challenges. And I want to get us a little bit more activated into each other's lives and helping each other accomplish bigger goals. All right? So that's really what uh, I want to pivot towards. Um, and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but uh, plan on it being a little bit different possibly than it, what it has been. So anyway, also I just need to get better at editing. I suck at it, so. Okay, all right, let's dig into the analytics. If you don't care about that and you wanna jump off, I love you and I appreciate you. Otherwise, let's go into the analytics and you can see the nitty gritty part of YouTube. All right, let's go. Hello again, friends. All right, let's dive into the nitty gritty parts of YouTube. This is more if you are <clears throat> looking to start up a YouTube channel and you're wondering what it looks like for about one year of going all in when it comes to YouTube and doing it on a, I've been doing at least three workouts every single week and what it looks like, all right? Okay, here is the main page for Woods Thriving. Right now we are at 686 subscribers and I have made 227 videos. So that is uh, quite a bit. Um, and each of those took a lot of time, especially in the beginning. But um, a lot of this on my actual page took a lot of patience as far as Photoshop and editing making a decent uh, headliner, um, creating uh, playlists. There's all sorts of playlists in here. And then all the different videos that I've created. When I go to my studio, this is what I see. Shows my current subscribers, shows my top videos as far as how many views. It's gonna show where my video is ranking. So right now, this is the newest one that Compound hit is three out of 10. My other one was a Tabata that within the first 13 hours had 87 views versus 75. It does show me all sorts of stuff. But if you go through, most of my videos have a lot of likes um, and a lot of comments, which from what I understood is how you rank on YouTube, but I'm not sure exactly <clears throat> how it works. For example, this video right here, Full Body Hit, has 30 likes at 100%, 14 comments, but only has 218 views. If you go to this Compound Hit, it has 26 likes, so four less likes, two less comments, but yet it has double the views. So I'm not exactly sure what the algorithm looks at. From what I understood, it had to do with like your click-through rate 
and all of that. If I were to look at this, um, it has done well. It's added five subscribers, has added 31 watch time hours and 438 views. Um, but it actually is trending, as far as the gray area, it's below typical retention, which according to YouTube, the retention and all of that adds into whether it will trend. So I don't know why this is trending and the other one is not. Um, I really don't know exactly how YouTube works. But real quick, I just want to show you looking at... So I started the channel August 27th was my first video. However, I took it down because of the video quality. So technically my first one posted is August 30th. But I want to show you something. Um, I'll look at it right here. So YouTube has, I don't know how it exactly works, but from all the other YouTubers <clears throat> who are in the same um, health and fitness genre that I am, they all had similar patterns. So you start out incredibly slow. So August 27th, um, it wasn't until October when it finally started to gain traction. And then absolutely come November, it blew up. This blue line right here is from browse features and the green is from suggested videos. So this is YouTube pushing my content out. Specifically the green line. You can see that it did me good for a couple, for about a month. And then after that, it dropped me like a bag of rocks. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm showing. So suggested videos, what YouTube is saying, hey, we suggest this video to you. In 2022, so this blue, blue bar is from 2022, so August to December 31st. The purple bar is for eight months, almost nine months in 2023. So in the first four months in 2022, suggested videos, how many times YouTube suggested my videos, they did it 280,000 times. Versus in 2023, in double the amount of time, they only suggested my videos 51,000 times. So to me, what that's saying is they were like, I think what they do is within the first couple months, they give you a carrot and they say, hey, we're going to help you out, but we're going to take it back and not help you out after that. And that's to get YouTubers wanting to continue on. And then as soon as they drop you, you you'll continue on and then they can throw ads on your, uh, your content and make free money, but then they don't help you to get become monetized after that. So you're kind of on your own after that. Um, browse features were about similar, um, channel pages, how many people visited my channel page is almost double for 2023. YouTube searches, how many people actually searched Woods Thriving was again, not quite, but almost double. And then playlist visits, how many times people went to the playlist page and picked a video off of that is almost, um, five X. So. Everything is looking good outside of how often YouTube suggests my contact. Um, it really is, yeah, really bad. So browse feature or suggested videos was my number one reason why people clicked on the video or got um, an impression. Second was browse features, meaning you're browsing for a workout video and I come up versus them just suggesting my workout videos to people. However, now it's number three, clear down at number three is suggested videos, but browse features, meaning people who've watched my videos and it will automatically pull it up because you have watched me in the past is now up. So what that tells me is YouTube really is not helping me out anymore. And that is 100% a visual right here. If you look at the green, it has absolutely dropped. Eight suggested videos, three, three, pretty much nothing. Everything else is browse features. 
Um, going into a little bit more into the analytics, I wanted to look at my likes versus dislikes. This is lifetime. I'm at 98.8% .8 likes versus dislikes. So, and I'm guessing a number of those is that one person who dislikes it. However, people do like the content being created. Um, my watch time hours are really good as well, but it's not quite adding to subscribers. Um, where we're at on subscribers is 62% of people who watched one of my videos are not subscribed, or excuse me, 71% of people are not subscribed and only 28, 29% are subscribed. So that means I'm doing a good job at getting people to watch, but not subscribe. So if you really do enjoy what I'm putting out, getting to that thousand subscriber mark is a game changer for me. Um, like I had mentioned earlier about being able to have control over what videos or what ads come out, when they come out, if you can skip them, um, all of that. But then also, I'm not doing this just to, to be a good person. I do want to make a little bit of money off of it as well. So that's just me being completely frank with you. So anyway, it is looking much better. So this is all time. How many are not subscribed versus subscribed? If I go to this year, we're actually up to 42% of all the views are from people who are subscribed. So overall, people have done much better and I cannot thank you enough for subscribing. But if you're not subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. I, I do want to help other people along the path of what really YouTube looks like as well. So if this is a video you liked, as far as letting you know more of the nitty gritty of YouTube, please subscribe and I will create more content uh, like this. Um, the subscribers, you all are amazing. You actually have just as much uh, watch time hours as the not subscribed, even though there's 16% less uh, views on that. And then the average view duration is 643 for people who are subscribed versus 447. Uh, for people who are not subscribed. So exit that and let's look at subscription status and I'm going to show you how good it was when YouTube was doing me good. This is in November. I only, I had went from all the way from August till November and only gained 40 subscribers. Can you believe that? However, it blew up from there. This is when YouTube started suggesting my videos. And with from November 12th, 46, all the way up to, let's go to December 12th. So in one month, I went from 46 to 390 subscribers. Um, so they absolutely helped me out. So YouTube, thank you for that. If you could do it again, I will absolutely just want to give you the biggest hug ever. So anyway, uh, but then from there, they drop me from any sort of uh, su suggested videos. And you can see from there, it has been an absolute grind to get anything. Um, yeah, all the way from like, if we just look at the one month, so August 1st, we had 650 subscribers. So in one month, August actually has been a better month. In one month, we gained 33 subscribers. So like I said, it is trajectorying way lower and it's gonna take us a while to get to that thousand subscriber mark. So anyway, that is a little bit more of the nitty gritty. Um, here's my first video, few videos, a trail run. You can see, let me zoom in even more. This was the video, this is the thumbnails. I just took a random thumbnail, had no wording, had no clue how to title it. Um, and you can see it didn't do well, 28 views, 27 views, one like, and then uh, mental breakthrough, that one had 29. I did my first workout and you can see, again, thumbnail, absolute garbage, but that one did have more views. Um, it wasn't until I started getting, actually doing thumbnails that I started to gain some traction, but you can still see it took me a while. Anytime I did, 
um, talking points. So race day, how to smash your race day. I haven't looked back, but I remember thinking I made a good point on those, but nine views. All my running related stuff, 42 views, it really didn't do well. So I know without a doubt, as far as talking point and creating uh, videos like this, I'm not very good. So I need a lot more practice and need to try even harder. So that's what I'm going to continue on is to get better at vlogging. So it wasn't until my first video on, I did a review on a shoe and that seemed to do really well. Um, yeah, that's when it started to do a little bit better. Uh, so anyway, I thought, oh, maybe I need to become a running uh, review person, review shoes. But I don't have that kind of money to buy, you know, tens, 10 pair of shoes every single month. And the people I'm competing against, you know, they get their shoes sent to them from running warehouse or specifically that direct uh, running shoe company. And they get them sent to them for free and I can't compete against that. So I decided I'm not going to waste money on that. So I kind of back that idea, but maybe I will. Who knows? I could not have done this without so many amazing comments. It looks like I got a reply. Terry, I love you and I appreciate you. Um, let me just go to a few people who are just... Tweety Ramirez 9090. Thank you. I appreciate you are so amazingly positive and your energy is awesome. Um, Christine Lamore, if I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize, but you've been commenting recently and I am loving your comments. I know they're in French and Google Translate isn't perfect. So if I am translating and it sounds weird, I apologize, but no, I'm trying my best. But all of your comments and your positivity is amazing. Um, Terry again, I absolutely love Terry. She is not only do, she's just absolutely incredible. Uh, a fellow runner, she's training for the same marathon as me and just straight up amazing. And I need to go to Sylvia. You are so amazing. I know that we chat about our pups and I love chatting to you about our pups and the exercises we're doing. Um, you are so incredible. Thank you so much. I'm on, I know I've said it on Iman. Iman, I know I've said it on a number of other videos, but you've been almost since day one. Uh, you have helped me. You were the one who inspired me to put warm ups and cool downs. You have taught me so much. I really love our, just our discussions. Uh, it is incredible to have a like minded person who loves suffering, and maybe doesn't love it, but uh, puts up with the suffering because be between both of us, we know that is our best version. And that's where true mental clarity and that's where going beyond yourself comes from is in suffering. And there's no better way to suffer than in exercising. So Iman, I, I truly love you and I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. I, I yeah. I could not have done this without you. Uh, this is our channel. I want to re reiterate, I know that uh, I don't say that enough, but I want you to be part of this. This is our channel. Let's grow this together. If there are certain things I do that you were like, man, I really wish he didn't do it that way or I wish he would try something else, please let me know. I'm not going to improve unless I know how to do things better. Uh, don't make, don't think that you're being mean by any means. Uh, truly, let me know in the comments, hey, I really wish you'd do this, or hey, have you tried that? Uh, it really does help me out so much. So that's it. I know that this is a very long video, and if you stuck with me till the end, uh, I, I just love you so much. So anyway, again, I wanna bring more energy, more positivity, more excitement, a little more humor into this channel, into our channel. Let's do this, let's grow this, and let's just keep thriving together, all right? Okay, I love you all, and as always, let's thrive together, woo!